Here I have my service book and I don't have enough onboard memory so I'm going to use the um, SD uh, expansion slot down here. The problem with a service book is when I slot in a full SD card like so, it only goes in uh, maybe two thirds of the way so there's some parts sticking out. So what I did was um, I went to the Mac shops and I got um, two jet drives. One that is obviously too short and the other one that might just fit. Both of them are pretty fast, you know, in uh, read speeds, 95 MB and write is 60 megabits, uh, megabytes per second. And at the back, the most important part to note is they have five different lengths for a Transcend jet drive. If you look closely down here, this is 16.7 uh, mm, whereas this one is 22.2 nm. They have another one which is called the Jet Drive Lite 360, which is 19 uh, mm which I think may be the right one to fit. But we also want to test whether the Mac uh, version of a SD card works because it states at the back here that it's meant for a Mac OS, both sides. You can tell that it's meant for the Mac OS itself, uh, right here, okay? And at no point of time does it say it's for Windows or a Windows 10 operating system, which the Microsoft Service Pro is part of. So let's take a look at what's inside. Open one of these boxes here. You can see here. This is what the SD card looks like. And right behind you can see, you know, it has all the normal pins of a SD card. I'm going to use the 256 one because I need a lot of memory and I'm going to just open the box right now remembering the other one I bought wrongly this is the jet drive light 130 which I found online uh, could work for the surface book and I'm going to try it out for myself right now okay I'm going to slot this I'm going to take this one out first I'm going to slot this one in like so and you could see it goes almost all the way in maybe it has uh, one mm sticking out and I have read that within the internet you could actually take a short one out and you could break off these two flaps and slot the card entirely in if you don't ever want to remove it uh, that is if you don't ever want to remove it but if not, um, I mean, this will be ideal if it's totally hidden and nobody knows that there is a SD card down there. But then you won't make it versatile because you can't swap uh, SD card. Okay, so I have slotted this in. And let's see, Transcend is detected. You can see it's drivey. And I have uh, some data which I have created in my external hard drive I'm going to copy uh, some Windows files Windows formatted files over to the new Transcend SD card uh, Oh, before I do that, why not I just show you the properties Okay, you can see there's about 241 GB free space for 256 GB drive uh, here, let me paste that in. It's pretty fast for write speed of 95 uh, megabytes per second. And I'm trying to open. You can see that I can open a PDF file immediately. Uh, okay. You can see I'm opening a Word document and I can uh, edit the Word document. Alright. I can save it and let's see whether the changes show up. Yes, the changes showed up. And uh, run a MP4 
video pretty simply right it works um, PowerPoint you you actually get the idea if this works this would work and uh, everything should work now opening up an Excel this is from the SD card and here's how I did it there is a very very short delay um, between the time I keyed in the letters on the keyboard and from it showing up here I guess that must be because it's being opened from the SD card but all in all it works the transcend the transcend this chat drive light 130 will work for Microsoft Surface Book. Uh, there's somewhere on Reddit that there were some uh, people commenting that the chat drive does not work for Surface Book, but you can see evidently it works out of the brand new box and without even formatting. It says that it supports XFAT, so it's pretty much plug and play, even though it's meant for a MacBook Air. As you can see, the jet drive light, all the different versions or models that you see down here for their expansion cards that were meant for the MacBook SD slots have different uh, heights. The 19.3 will be a little too short for the service book. The 22.8 definitely a lot longer. The 16.7 will go all the way in, right? If, if you break off the, the wings here. The best one is still the Jet Drive Lite 130, which is 22.2 mm, which is just uh, sticks out just a little bit. Okay. Thank you for watching.